Yeah, I'm okay. Who are you anyway? The Black Manta! Wrath of the Black Manta, because Dolomite doesn't have his own game. Play this, it's like a combination of Shinobi mixed with all of my favorite 70s Kung Fu and black exploitation films. It's terrible, but amazing because of it. Wrath of the Black Manta. Watch your mouth. Did they ever make video games based on the Death Wish? Movies, maybe that's what this was meant to be. You are Charles Bronson, dressed as a ninja on the Nintendo Entertainment System. In Wrath of the Black Manta. It's hilarious. This is a terrible game, but thoroughly entertaining. It's like an awful version of Shinobi. Because children have been kidnapped and scattered throughout New York, your job is to look behind a bunch of rolling doors until you save them all. Jeez, thanks for letting me out. Why did they kidnap me? My family isn't rich or anything. It seems to be drug related. You don't use drugs, do you? What do you consider NyQuil? No, no, I definitely don't. No. Good. Don't let anyone get you started on drugs. They're a dead end. Wow, chicka, wow, chicka, wow, chicka, wow. Now you know, and knowing is the other half of the battle. In between fits of laughter, there's a game. It's not very good. As you see, you... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. You're fighting a giant end boss, but this is like the worst end boss ever. I like the side-scrolling ninja spaceship shooting scene here. You you uh, capture one of these ninja kites, and then you fly, right, and fight other ninjas. You have ninja magic, kind of like Shinobi, except you have a lot of it. You, you can shoot fireballs, you can make... You can make double ninja, you can do like a stereo ninja move. Um, you can um, go invisible. It, it's all it's all quite entertaining, it's just a terrible game, because there's so many better games than this on the NES, but only one Wrath of the Black. Man, I'm kind of disappointed they didn't go all the way with this concept, though. Like, like, just call the game Death Wish. Call it what it is. Black Belt Jones. Like, there's so many awesome movies from back in the day that they could have licensed. You must stop these guys! They're drug pushers! That guy looked like a little David Hasselhoff. He's got some pretty sweet hair. Here's the waterfall scene. These games all have to have some kind of a, like a cavernous waterfall scene. More side-scrolling ninjas and, of course, the boat level. They always have boats because the docks were really cheap to film at. That's why these movies all had, like, the docks level. <laughs> the docks scenes, sorry. Like, what would be the best 70s black exploitation film to base a game on? Now, see, here's a good question. Because you're probably thinking, like, Shaft or Dolomite. No, no, not, not the obvious ones. Truck Turner would be a good choice, but... But I'm gonna have to go with Avenging Disco Godfather. That that title just screams video game that Mark would like. Oh, here we go. What? That's impossible! No one could defeat the Voodoo Warrior. No one, that is, except... <gasps> Jim Brown with a chainsaw. Also, you've got to like any game where there's enemies that just hang out in the hallway with bazookas. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Just bring a bazooka. Right up until the part where you fight Ed 209 or the mini ATST. I'm trying to activate my ninja magic to go invisible because it works really well, except I keep hitting the wrong button <laughs> and pulling off the different ninja magic. Ooh, the elevator scene. This is quite clever here. I like this. This, this reminds me of uh, the super spy on Neo Geo. Except uh, you ride the elevator up and then watch out! There's bad guys! Throw ninja stars at them and then laugh at the look on their face. <laughs> I, I kind of want a sequel to this game. Did they make more? 
Ooh, more dialogue. Boy, am I glad to be out of there. Yeah, I bet. Any more kids on this floor? Like, that's exactly what the ninja sounds like in this game. If they did a voice track, it would be that. Ooh, more ATSTs. Because why wouldn't you be fighting ATSTs? A big thanks to my man, Mark from East Meadow, New York, for sending this to the show. I needed a good laugh, and Wrath of the Black Manta delivered. Classic Game Room has been brought to you by the ultra massive video game console guide. 230 pages of video games on Amazon.com, Retro Megatrex, and how to make a video game review show that doesn't suck. And Jesus number two. Welcome to the Patreon Lord Carnage Club being shouted from a turbo volcano. Michael and Ariana Nelson, Ian Shore, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Jason Goy, Andy Schleiss, Sergio Matthias Hergert, Philip Straubenmuller, Jack Stavris, Ohad Kane, Simon Allen, and Sean Zoltek.